Hello, my name is Miguel Mora. I'm a student at IST and today I'm going to talk about volumetric receivers in solar towers. As you all know, renewable technologies are growing faster than ever in the energy production market to both answer the climate change issue and the rising demand for energy. Following this trend, concentrating solar power, or CSP, is becoming the chosen renewable source for places with high direct normally radiance. Of all CSP types is covered, the one that shows the greatest potential today is the solar tower system, also known as central receiver. In a plant of this kind, a field of heliostats track the sun's rays and focus them onto the receiver, which is located at the top of a tower. The concentrated radiation is absorbed and passed to a heat transfer fluid, which will be used to produce electricity in a power generation cycle. These plants can also have a tank to store heat for several hours, allowing electricity to be dispatched at any time. One thing that makes solar tower systems really attractive is their flexibility. Technology advances can be applied to existing plants, especially when used in the absorber component. This has happened with air receivers. First, tubular receivers were proposed, in which the outer walls of the tubes are exposed to the concentrated radiation, and the generated heat is passed to the air that flows inside them. Although this system seems simple and effective, Volumetric receivers later appeared as a cheaper solution with better thermal properties, and are still considered nowadays as a better alternative. This new design uses a porous structure, made out of metal or ceramic, that is irradiated on one side by concentrated sunlight. Cold air enters from the same irradiated side and flows through the material by forced convection, getting rapidly heated as it crosses the receiver. The beauty of this process is that the irradiated region will always be colder than any other one, which leads to low radiative losses on the aperture. This is called the volumetric effect, and it is a major advantage compared to tubular receivers, whose exterior walls must be hotter to provide the same outlet fluid temperature. Additionally, volumetric receivers can withstand larger solar fluxes, which is ideal for applications at temperatures as high as 1000 degrees Celsius. Volumetric receivers can have two possible configurations. They can either be an open-loop system, where the air is extracted from ambient, or they can be a closed-loop system, with pressurized air contained in it. For my master thesis, I will simulate the thermal performance of the High Temperature Receiver, or heat rack, which is an open volumetric receiver with a ceramic absorber. This work will be done under the supervision of Professor Luis Felipe Mendes from IST and João Pereira Cardoso from Lunec. Thank you for watching.